Welcome to our water education series. My name is Susie McDonald and I'm a water treatment technologist with GWM Water. I've been working in the water industry for approximately 18 years. Interestingly, one of my first jobs after leaving my doctoral research was to study taste and odours in drinking water. During this job, I had the privilege of adding known amounts of smell chemicals to drinking water samples in the laboratory for my experiments. Unfortunately, one day the musky potato bean odour attached itself to me right before I had to meet with my boss. As soon as I walked through the door, my boss said, what's that smell? It's me, I said, and we all had a great laugh saying how I would interfere with the taste and odour panel analysis if we were to hold it that day. In fact, there's a real science around taste and odours in drinking water. How we smell them, how we detect them, where they come from, and it's quite complex. The way we describe taste and odours can differ from person to person. And that's because we associate taste and odours with past experiences. We've all had different past experiences. And so we describe taste and odours differently. For example, if someone were to drink this water, they might describe it as having a chlorine or a chlorinous type of flavour. Someone else might describe it as being medicinal or chemical. And someone else might say that it tastes bitter but they might all be describing the same thing. We all have different levels of sensitivities to taste and odours in drinking water. Some people are very sensitive and some people not so. Generally, our sensitivities decrease as we age. If you are taking medication, sometimes that can impact the way that you can taste or smell things. Taste and odours can be fleeting. They're there one minute and gone the next and sometimes it can be quite difficult to determine the cause of these taste and odours. So where do taste and odours come from? Taste and odours in water can come from a number of different sources. Internal plumbing materials at your house can make your water taste metallic, medicinal or bitter, or give your water or sink a brown or blue colour. Algae in the untreated source water can release naturally occurring taste and odour compounds that can make the water smell or taste earthy much like the smell you would experience when it rains. Rotting algae can give a fishy, mouldy or musty odour. A build-up of organic matter and microorganisms called biofilm can occur inside reticulation pipes. And when this comes off, it can lead to brown colour in the water. And you may experience an odour, like a mild fishy or rotten egg odour. Naturally occurring salts in the water can give a salty taste and the disinfectant in water can give a taste, usually a chlorinous flavour. Sometimes you may see that the water has a white colour, but if you put some of the water into a glass and let it sit, the white colour disappears. This is due to air in the water, and it is safe. Taste and odours become more of an issue over summer, and that's because we have warmer temperatures. Warmer temperatures can promote algal growth and microorganism growth. Some of the things that DWM Water does to try and minimise the risk of taste and odours is to keep storages full. By keeping storages full, that can help minimise the risk of algal formation. We also do flushing and pigging. Pigging is where we have a sponge that goes down through the pipe and it cleans the inside of the pipe. We also have tank cleaning programs. It's very difficult to remove taste and odours with normal treatment processes, but there are some things that we can do to treat taste and odours. We can use activated carbon. Activated carbon is in place at our portion water treatment plant, our pompatool treatment plant, and also our wrapped. You may also have activated carbon on some of your household filters. We can also use a disinfectant. The most commonly used disinfectant is chlorine and that can help sometimes reduce taste and odours. To watch all our episodes or subscribe to our water education series, click on the link.